Welcome to another exciting edition of We've Got Issues. In this episode, we've got Tobe Iziogu, the brain artist writer behind some of your Comic Republic favorites like The Extremes, you've heard of Amadi Oha, you've heard of Black Moon, Eru, name it. Today, we're going to be talking specifically about Amadi Oha. Thank you for joining us, Tobe. Hey. <laughs> Pleasure to be here. I'm awesome. a big fan of all your <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. Tobe is the one who edits all the videos, by the way, so I don't know what he's on about. <laughs> Today, though, we want to talk about Amadio Ha. Goodness, tell us a little bit about what inspired that comic book story. Ah, uh, what inspired Amadio? Initially, I wanted to tell a story about. Um, Amadioha because I hadn't seen any story about Amadioha anywhere else. It was always either Shango or Thor or, you know, someone else. So I, I noticed that there was no Amadioha. And Amadioha is kind of a very, very interesting character if you look into his backstory. You know, unlike Thor and unlike um, most depictions of Thunder Gods, he's known as a very reserved and very calm person. So I wanted to create someone like that, um, a Thunder God that was different from the rest of the Thunder Gods that I'd seen on most media. Um, initially, the story was that he was supposed to be, you know, slightly more of a, a um, stoic character, but I had several talks with the creative team in Comic Republic, um, mostly Toba. And um, Toba was, I think, to be honest, one of the inspirations for the Amadioha we see today, because he was the one that like, like why don't you add a kid in there and you know, make it about that? And I was like, well, that's a brilliant idea. And I ran with it and here we are. So, yeah. so for anyone who has never picked a, an episode of Amadioha from Comic Republic, what should they expect to see in there? Um, to be honest, uh, so, if you've never seen, if you've never picked up Amadio before, what you would expect is a father-daughter adventure story. That's how I'd like to look at it. Even though there's some action in between with Amadio her showing and flexing off his powers, and you know, which is what most some of the audiences want. But I like to think of it as a father-daughter story, a father-daughter adventure. I love the idea of them going on random trips anywhere in the world, having crazy adventures, and you know. His daughter is very mischievous, so she's going to get into a lot of issues, a lot of problems, and Amadira is going to come and save the day. And I love that dynamic because, you know, it reminds me of how my parents are and how... They, it reminds me of a lot of things I used to do in the past. I was a very mischievous child, so I put... I projected that to, in the storyline. So, yeah. Oh, awesome, awesome. You talked about the Clash of Thunder Gods. There's no way I am not going to ask you about what everybody's buzzing around right now. There is this Vanguard Overwatch 6 that just came out where we see Thor and Shango in this epic battle. I, I, saw, I saw the panels and I was just wondering, Shango, how did you... He <laughs> carried Thor from Thor. That's, 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 that should be illegal. I know. So how do you think Amadioha would have played in that? If we sort of replaced Shango with Amadioha, how do you think that fight could have turned out? <laughs> kind of boring. Amadioha would have tried to talk sense into them. He would have tried to reason <laughs> with them before it escalated because because of his backstory, he's known as the, the term Amadioha is a is it's called gentleman of the people or will of the people, in the true meaning of the word Amadioha. So his real name is Kamalu, his title is Amadioha. So in all um, areas, he's supposed to be a calm, collected, and very, very um, strategic personality, according to his the mythos. So he would have tried to talk with them before trying to fight. So, so it's good Shango is there. Shango, <laughs> a lot more interesting to watch. You know, oh. to see dialogue. So, this brings me to my question. One of the ones that the fans like to ask on our Comic Republic platform, when is the next Amadioha coming out? Tell us, tell us, tell us. 
Well, um, right now it's being produced as we okay. speak. I've seen some of the arts and, you know, uh, it's in the production phase. Uh, we've got more issues done. And we've, got, we've written down a lot of issues. The plot is already done. So um, I'm expecting this year we should see an Amadi Oha issue this year. All things considered, I don't see why we won't have Amadi Oha 2 or 3 this year alone. Awesome. Thank you so much. You've heard it, guys. Amadi Oha is coming out sometime this year. Thank you so much for your time. And that's it. That's our show. We've got issues, remember? thousands of pages of comic book issues find them read them share them love them 